I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and I'm here to show you today how to store your seeds, your fruit and veggie seeds or your flower seeds for next season. Maybe you didn't use them all, you don't want to throw them out or you collected them from your harvest this year so that you can replant them next year. So for instance, I just started my seedlings. If you haven't seen the shows, go and check them out. I'm starting seedlings, my fruit and veggie garden and my herbs and things. So what I've done is I've removed the seeds from a honeydew melon and I rinsed them off, took them out of all, you know, the innards and things like that. And this pretty much goes for any fruit or veggie. You're gonna take the seeds out, you're going to rinse them off under cold water and you're gonna let them dry out, okay? Then you're gonna use them for your planting or whatever. If you're not planting, then what I do is I store them in um, envelopes, okay? It keeps the light out because you don't want them to be just stored with the sunshine all blazing on them. You need them to be in the dark, okay? Secondly, you don't want to put them in plastic bags. Seeds are living things and if you put them in plastic, there's no air movement, okay? You can kill those seeds. They're not going to come up after that. So you see how they, when they come in the store, they come in a little paper envelope. And I'm just doing the same thing. But what you want to make sure that you do is you want to label it appropriately, okay? So next, so you know next time you're not going to be able to read everything. You're not going to be able to know what everything is just by looking at it, I should say. So these are my honeydews. And I just planted a whole tray of these. So I'm done. So with now them, I'm going to save these for next year or for friends. Or you can check out my store and you can purchase seeds there as well. You can, you can plant the same things I'm planting. Okay, so check out my store at shop.cookingwithkimberly.com for a wide variety of cool things that you might not even know we even have. All right, so into my envelope goes the honeydew, and I'm just going to seal it up. And I like to keep all my seeds together so that next year when I'm ready to get my seedlings going, I have a whole pack, a whole bunch of these, and they're ready to go. I already know what they are. I've already seen them. I've already planted them. I know what my harvest is going to be like with them. Now, seeds aren't don't last forever. Some seeds will surprise you. You'll be able to plant them years and years later, and they'll be fine. But what I typically do, I don't keep them more than maybe three or five years. Five years is pretty much the absolute maximum that I've been able to actually get them to grow again, okay? So that's it, and I'm just gonna continue that with the rest of my seeds, I have a ton of them, and uh, that's how we're gonna roll with it. So that's how you store seeds for next season. Simple, right? Envelopes are inexpensive, just label it, you're good to go. So take them all in one spot, in a place that makes sense so that you don't forget where they are, okay? That's it, that's all. Follow me on Twitter, at Cooking with Kim E, with a capital E, or at Web Chef Kimberly. You can also, Connect with me on Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.